Chief. There's one for you personal. Must be pretty badly stirred up to send a message like that. Is it my fault about all of these accidents? About all of this freight being stolen? Say, it looks like somebody's trying to get my job. And if I find out who it is... Chief, here's something you ought to know. Well, what is well, it? I've been watching all the men over the machine shop and, and over the roundhouse, and I've discovered the man who's been causing all these wrecks. Who is he? His... We can't get him. There he goes. Hey, what's all the excitement? Somebody just shot the inspector. Come on with us. Anybody should ask you where I've been, why, you tell them I've been with you. We're going down to meet Dad. Why, Tim, what's the matter? Has anything happened? Well, uh, no, nothing that is, uh, uh, you wouldn't understand. Uh, uh, you see, a girl, uh... Must escape towards town. You boys take a look around. Okay. Hello, Miss Anderson. We, uh, we just came down to meet Dad. Is that right, Mary? Can't you see for yourself? Didn't see anybody run away from the station just now, did you? Uh, why, yes, I did. I, I saw a fellow and he ran, uh, uh, he ran down that way. Oh, Buck, you better call the sheriff. This affair is out of my hands now. What's happened, Mr. Henderson? Someone just shot one of our inspectors in the back. Uh, uh who was he? Uh, how did that? It's exactly what we're trying to find out. Hello, McGuire! Hello, oh, how are you, Freddy? What made you tonight? Oh, somebody got the digs on this run. Well, thanks for the ride, McGuire. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to try to find a job someplace. Oh, come with me. Maybe I can find something for you. Okay. Well, you're not so late, Pat. Well, try to be in here on time, though. The, uh... Hello, Daddy. Did you hear about the murder? Right in Mr. Henderson's office. Murder? What murder? All right, what's the excuse for being late this time, huh? Ask the fireman engineer. They couldn't get enough steam on that engine to pull two cars, let alone a train. They say somebody's been tapping the oil again. Somebody's always trying to get this division in Dutch. Who's that fellow? That's Jim Conway. I gave him a lift after he helped me with a couple of hobos on the train. Maybe he can use them around here. Yeah, maybe he can tell us something about those boxcar thieves we've been trying to catch. No, I'm a railroad man from back east. I can show you my card. Oh, you want a job, eh? You find out who killed Tom Watson. That's the first job that has to be done on this division. After that, I may have a time to talk to you. Say, I wonder if he would let me help him solve that murder. There's only one way to find out. Go ahead and ask him. I will. I might come out feet first. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> May I have a word with you, Mr. Henderson? Well, what do you want? You said that finding the murder was a big job on this division. I'd like to help. You help? What can you do? You don't know anybody around here. That's just the reason why I can't help. No one knows me. Say, maybe you were right at that. This gun is the only evidence we have. Be careful of the fingerprints. the 
matter? Oh, nothing. I told you there was a girl bothering me. Don't lie to me. It's something about that murder, isn't it? I can't tell you anything. I gotta get out of here. Don't ever run away from anything. I tell you, I can't explain. Nobody would understand. There are no fingerprints on this gun. Whoever handled it wore gloves. Give me a little time, Mr. Hennison, and maybe I can deliver the murder. Time, eh? <laughs> the trouble with all you Sherlock Holmes is, all you want is time. Go on, get out. It's this report on the wire to the old man, or he'll be wanting my time next. Okay. See you later. I think I've got a job. Great. Uh, in all my excitement, I forgot my manners. Mary, Tim, this is Jim Conway. I think I'll take him home with me. Uh, maybe your mother can find a place for him. I know she will. What he did, Mary, he threw three tramps off the train that tried to beat me up. And you remember, uh, hey, Jim, come on up here. We're going home and have one of those good dinners at Mother's Pick. Come oh, on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hello, Mother. Hello. Mother, how are you? Fine. Mother, this is Jim Conway, a railroader from the East. I'm glad to meet you. But when they tell me you're a railroader, I have my doubts. <laughs> <laughs> you're a smart woman, Mrs. McGuire. Maybe you could make a railroader out of me if you'd try. Well, I'll try. <laughs> hey, who is that guy, a dick? I don't know who he is. You better beat it. There's been some wiretapping and the super thinks it's you. The heck with the super. I've seen that guy fish those gloves out of the trash can. You better go. Better be there. Who was that man? Oh, I can't tell you. Why can't you tell me what's the matter and let me help? Listen, you keep out of this, or I'll... Huh? If anything should happen to you, you know Mother's heart will break. Please tell Dad if you can't tell me. Listen, you keep Dad out of this, you hear? Pardon me a minute. You want me to tell your father? Mr. Conway, I don't know who you are, but I've got to ask your help for my brother. What is it? Something to do with the murder? He didn't do it. Oh, I know he didn't. I couldn't love him the way I do if he was bad. But he isn't some sort of a scrape with whoever did do it. I know he couldn't be bad and have such a sister. I'll be glad to help. Oh, thank you. I'll... Let him go. I'll follow him. He may lead me to the men I want. Hi, Blackie. All right. Number 12. Number 12. Where's Bowman? He's up in the office. Is he alone? Yes. Thanks. On your mind, Weinstock. There's a new dick up in McGuire's. Uh, how do you know? I just saw him pick up the gloves McGuire hid. Say, where's Bollock? He's up in the office. I've got to see him. Can't go up there. It's private. 
Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to see him anyway. Yeah? Just a minute. Yeah, I'm going anyway. Say, Oliver. What are you doing here? You got me to a jam, and now you got to get me out. Bolivar, you planted those gloves on me that day that man was shot. That detective's got him, and now he's after me. Just a minute. Weinstock, go out and watch that door, will you please? Hey, Chief. What are you talking about? I don't know anything about gloves. Oh, yes, you do. You plant them on me. I don't plant anything. Oh, yes, you do. And I'm going to tell my dad everything. You understand what I mean? I'm going to tell him everything. Oh, yeah? Well, I suppose you're going to tell your dad about those IOUs for gambling, eh? No. Give me those. I'm telling you, he must be killing that kid. <laughs> Get going. Hey, Chief! Let me in, will you? Say, there's that cop. How did he get in? Stand back. The first man in gets it. Better get out of here before they trap us below. kid getting away from us will spoil everything. He'll squeal, and that'll bring the cops down on us. Let's get rid of that dick. Mm, you said it. How'd you happen to get mixed up with that gang? Well, I owed him some IOUs for gambling, and I couldn't afford to pay him, so he made me tell him every time a rich shipment went through. Then he and his gang would go out, and they'd wreck the cars, and, and then they'd rob the cars. You didn't have to do that. Oh, yes, I did. If I didn't, he'd tell Dad everything. And you don't know Dad when it comes to gambling. Well, never mind. That can't be helped now. You help me round up those crooks, and I'll see you're taken care of. Chief, now that the kid's out, how are we going to keep track of the movement of freight? Who's going to tip us off on the right stuff? I'll think of that. You used to handle a key in this division, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll tap in on the wire and get the information. You steer the boys up to the old hideout. Okay. Huh? Say, I gotta hand it to you for thinking them up. <laughs> Don't 
cut to me, eh? That means we'll have to work fast to beat that gang. You're right. And I'll do my best to help. Fine, Tim. I want to ask you if you'd like to go to church with us tomorrow, Mr. Conway. To church? With you? I'd love to. That's fine. <laughs> I don't think they'll notice that splice. But it's okay. The one down there will throw them off the trail. That'll fool them. <laughs> Say, run us up to the shack and we're sitting all right. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Somebody's bought the car out of the big shot down at the division point. <laughs> <laughs> Blithering old idiot. So he's gonna fire me, huh? Well, if that goggle-eyed son of his can do any better than I'm doing, I'll kiss his foot. This is important. Pete. Yeah. Watch the shack while I take this over to the chief, will you? Right. Come on, sit down. I'm two up on you right now. Let's see what you can do this. Well, that's nothing. I do a lot more to make you happy, Mary. Oh. <laughs> I know a shorter cut home. You do? Yes, I do. Well, let's go. So you think this is the shortest way home, do you? Oh, anyway, it's the shortest way home on Sunday. I'd like to take you to the Rose Tree Inn some night. But, Dad, you can't afford to take me there. Well, I might get a few nickels somewhere for a cover charge. And a glass of iced tea. Well, why the iced tea? Because I don't like it and it lasts much longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see the little bird. Isn't it cute? Beautiful. Not now, later. I beg your pardon. Get the girl before she gets away and squeal. Are you hurt, honey? No. Are you sure? I think I'm sure. I'm going to take you home. Oh, I wish you would. Well? Where can I find the division superintendent? The division superintendent? What do you want? I happen to be the son of the president of this road. I'm here to check up these outrages. So you're the president's son, eh? Come right in, Mr. Powers. If he can find out who's putting the jinx on that run of mine, I can forget those looks. Say, I've got an idea about that. What is it? Come on down to the roundhouse. We'll have a talk with the master mechanic. Okay. Oh, hello, McGuire. Uh, just checking up on your engine for your next trip. 
Now, I'll guarantee there'll be no accidents or delay, excuse for delays this trip. Mm -hmm. We just came down to talk about that. Mr. Conway here has an idea. Oh, yes? What is it? Seems like the cooks know in advance every engine you're going to use, and something always happens. Why not change engines at the last minute and beat them at their own game? Well, I might do that as an experiment. Now, there's 3706. She's in fine shape. She's just been overhauled. She's good, old hog. I've told her before. Get her ready, Mike, and put her on number four. You know, I think this is going to work out all right. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, we'll start right here. It's a memorandum book. Keep memorandums of the movements of the Western Division trains. On here, fruit, the vegetables. The fruit. What I want are your waves. You manifest. What kind of freight you're handling? Oh, you do, eh? All right, McGuire. Yes. Bring down your waybills. Yes, sir. Thank you. If you don't mind. Well, Mary, what are you doing down here? Oh, I just came down to see Dad's train made up. Yeah. Maybe I can catch those crooks. Now, listen, you keep out of this. You want to get in more trouble? Go on home where you belong. Uh-uh, not me. Goodbye. You're right. Daddy, Daddy, make him stop chasing hey, me. what's the matter with you? Oh, this ain't no place for a girl. I told her to go home or I'd lab her one. <laughs> Listen, Mary's got to ride me down here if she wants to. You leave her alone. There, Smarty. Come on. Quiet, engine. We we'll put her up there. You and I'll ride this run. Okay. Hurry up. Well, that's that. There's that cook Bolivar. Let's get him. She is with all the silk. Are we gonna let it get away from us? Mm, not on your life. We've got to take a chance. It all depends on the dude. Come on. Wait a minute. Let them fellas go. I gotta get this train out. Say, you fellas see that Mary gets home, will you? All right, Dad. Hey, one thing sure, they won't be on number four to bother you this time. I hope not. The silk ought to get through safely. That's all right. 
Let's hide on your father's train and make the run with him. Okay. Here's a good place to hide. Dad'll never find me here. Here he comes. You duck under and get on the other side. I'll go down up ahead. Hey, dude. Call the boys at the shack. Tell them to pick up the truck and drive to Silver Bridge. The engine will just about hold out till there. Okay. Be there. The big chief wants us at Silver Bridge within an hour. Come on, fellas. I got you. We'll drop her off. The boys will pick her up. We got an ace to hold.
take this down. Let's see what's wrong. Come on. on the other side in the bush and make a noise like a fight. While I go back and tell the chief. Go on. What's the matter, honey? Don't you like our company? Come on, join us in a card game. <laughs> you little hellcat. Chief, I think it's got the cops in the woods. They're hunting for our wire. I got Steve leading them astray. They might show up any time. My rifle out. That smart boyfriend of yours is liable to stop a bullet. But, Tom, come with me. You watch her. Okay, Chief. Now, uh, we'll hide here. If anybody spots that wire, I'll give him the works. Shh, quiet. Wait a minute. I want to examine that cross arm. Looks like an extra spice. You trail out this ground line. Okay, it's allowed to go for a mile. When he reaches the yard arm, I'll give it to him.
I got that gift, didn't I? Well, you let me go! Let me go! Can you let me go! Let me go! I'm not! Oh. A couple of swell guards. Let a dame get the drop on you. And as for you, you keep quiet. Or I'll give you the same thing I gave that boyfriend of yours. You let me go! Sit down! Say, let's get moving before those cops get here. Now, listen, Bo. We don't leave here till we get that flash from the dude. You understand? And when we pick that up, we'll all have plenty to live on. Which way'd they go? That way. Hurry. Come on, men. It's Dude. The shipment's in. He's got the combination of all. Fine. Get out the truck. Meet the dude at the station at 12 o'clock. Don't shoot. If we get them now, we may never find Mary. Hurry up. I can hardly wait to get my hands in there. Hey, you're happy shaking. Yeah, do you have any trouble? Oh, that's You fellas go that way. Come on.
down the road. Wait a minute. Let me shoot it open. Don't shoot him. I hit Jim. Come on. Maybe we can find the window. Put up your hand. Put him up. Stop back up against the wall. Come on. Get over there. Come on. Back up. All right, now stick him up. You're all under arrest. Just a minute, Sheriff. You can't arrest me. I happen to be the son of the president of this road. These men led me into it. Oh, so you're the president's son, eh? How was your mother and sister when you left? Why, they were both well when I left, as far as I know. You're a liar. The president has neither wife nor daughter. How do you know so much about the president? I ought to know. I'm his only son. I've been wanting to ask you if you'd go to church with me soon. Church? With you? Oh, I'd love it. <laughs> You're wonderful. <laughs> 